You know how we do it on in Barifem's kitchen, so I'm gonna be adding my femme to it and show you my own special red jollof rice with lamb. I've got these lamb shanks, guys, and I'm going to be adding it there for decoration. Perfect for us any special occasion or the Eid is coming as well. You can cook it for the Eid or any special occasion. Serves about six to eight people. Ah, okay, you am Barifem at you want to and that can next soon look. Eat, so what if you like you done the jail soon? Benachin Bohan and the Fallen Buddha. Well, ah, is it left? I mean, here to fame your hamlet against him on a jail jangle, your hamlet like a poor hamlet of Buganagi, like the femme terrain, and you put a fee, ah, yagi the fat amovina. For not my silence, my hetty arsenal, that Liu Bilu Binagel or Gila Arsenal, Gila Koy Lepa. Our ingredients, guys, and we've got our prawns here. This is going to be a salsa prawn. Sauce, which is going to be on the side, that's our tamarind, which is going to be on the side as well. Our knockers, which is very important. Well, I'm going to be blending the garlic, my soon lunch. So, these are our ingredients, guys. You can see I've got the black pepper here. I'm just going to pour it because I'm starting it off with the garlic. These are my other ingredients. You can see our basil leaves. I just need three stems of basil leaves and a bunch of parsley, our green onions and one red onion. You can use white onion as well. So let's start blending it so that we can um, start our knockers. This is what we call the knockers. So put all the ingredients in the blender and then we blend it step by step. Alright, I've cut the green onions into these pieces after washing it and the bay leaves now. So I'm going to be adding everything step by step and blending it. Like I've shown you on the ingredients listed in the screen, just blend it in your blender and then keep it for your knockers. So the basil and oregano is really nice for your tomato sauce. We basilic be up oregano be This is my starter. So I've just got one onion here, which I've just chopped into these lovely pieces. And I'm going to be chopping this. Right, so just chop it into cubes to make it decent. Some rosy come in and onion rosy mom. Ah, the mother coffee were here. We're going to be starting off with frying this and the tomato puree step by step. Gonna be putting the lamb first. These are the lamb shanks. Okay, we need the tanki hari. See so frankly no gel. Ah, they've got dog you know me. You know put um name be yep see fancy as well. Um I'm gonna be frying it first, so we're going to be frying it to give it a nice colour. And then we will start our this nice. <laughs> Frying. So we're just going to give it a nice color because it's red rice and we need to have the beautiful color. So we're not going to fry it until it's well done. We want the half and half cooked. Okay, we just got for color, but okay. We color. You can see that you don't like the game in the world. Right, I'll be putting this aside, all colored and nice, and voila, voila, voila. I'm just going to be adding my garlic here, just two garlic for flavor purpose. Make sure it's well roasted or caramelized before you add anything. We soon like it. You can see 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 it. You can
What if you try it? Because I'm not going to be able to do it. This is a very quick technique, and if you try it, you'll see what I'm saying. Because some people add the onions first before the tomato, but this has to be caramelized first in order to get the perfect taste and to and make sure everything is well caramelized the way we want it to get the perfect chip, belichin, or however you call it in your language. So we're going to be adding the tomato paste first. Give it a stir. Okay, more okay, this means some tomato will be happy with light details. Wow, you get some tomato will be happy. So we keep stir frying it. This means need a clean tail and came off. Technically, not take a need it. Mix this well with the oil. Right guys, so I'm gonna add our yet. You can add what um two for our yet. This is my yet here. We still need it. Okay, it's um caramelized snail, so we add it to our we add it to our bernachin. So we we'll just take half of a bell pepper and one onion and add it inside. Right, so we add the onions. Okay. Okay. You don't need this one, then, and then you're right now, okay? You don't need this one, then, and then you're right now. I'll be adding the lamb now. This one, then, and then you're right now. I know that my mom is not going to be nice. So, I'm going to be adding the... I've added the lamb now. And giving it a good stir fry. With it. So the lamb is going to render its own water and meanwhile it's going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. Yes, yes. The lamb is going to be caramelizing with the tomato. 150 grams of plum tomatoes. Ah, some of our very famous Anna Kanku. Kanku mangla ye kan laksi bir very famous chef bi ah. Chef bi dasa chef la Kanku drama mangla ye kan. Okay, so ni lang chef ni kay mom. So just give it a stir fry here and there. Don't let it burn. And I'll show you when it's the perfect time to add your water. You don't like you do a like food meal. No se sunyo ay non nanga. Takuni na 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 kung susunyo ay non, wai ligi dal dapat sa mga dila gina persia o nana. Kung nakni takuni persia, persia sa damo ko si Hem. Voila voila. Can you see how the oil renders once it starts caramelizing the tomato? So you don't need extraordinary oil. You can just put a decent amount. Okay, it's yet. You will not forget that you feel because every dog is wild. Just now, better. But just okay. Hold on, soon. Just if you tell them okay, better in your shake away. Carve in the photo room. Like the body, maybe the bugger top. Now, the bugger top. Right top. I hold on. This is just one. You are cool. No cost. No cost. Give me one. So the ingredients I blended and showed you earlier on. I'm just adding two tablespoons to this. All this. This is where we make sure all the flavors are enhanced. And before we add the water, finally we'll be putting the last napa in, and that's it. So in order to avoid um, adding a lot of spices or um, seasonings, this is the best technique to cook the ultimate, ideal, extraordinary, absolute mark for me triple double. Okay, can you see? Everything is. Using a spoon, Rosie. If you make them, then I guess we are going to make them at home. So for the fun, I feel my feet are so warm. This is just some magic. Mommy, Tom, Saf, Nasi, but for the next couple of colors, we're going to use some other ingredients. So you can add some magic seasoning to it. It gives it a nice taste. And I'm going to be adding some beans to it. This is not the original recipe, but it's very nice. Mokai, I'm going to try, and I'm introducing it. It's more of a more popular in the Senegal really um region so um from Moki Gambia ni ngen try bi tamit nak set tamit pum tolu sa ni ni fi tuti sa nyebere ni ka jam 
lunch. So you can add a little bit of beans. It's optional, so you can stick to the original recipe, like I said, and it's time to put the water now. Absolute more formidable. Let me give you a better zoom. So we'll just add our water now. And see if that's decent enough. Okay, you see it. Split the water now, so we're going to be leaving it to brown. This is the time you can add your vegetable just right before you add um, the water. So, Right, so we're going to be adding our nokos. This is the ingredients we blended earlier on and I've listed it on the screen as well. We see nokos mboka ibu ndare na kibara utu tirek. You do gal nokos bi mubarak mom. Lan? Saf sapa la def. Right, so I'm gonna open this, guys. It's still boiling. What can you see? How the oil is rendering. You see, it's under the foam tolu. You gang it or the jog nak man nak buku mo diu buka di semua chef. Wow, semua benda cendal. Diu bina M, lah ngamu na leka. Diu bina bari tarap. Broth we got. This is why the caramelization is so important, and you have to pay attention to all the step. Nah, gisengen mungkin apa? Film ni ada yang mungkin apa? Mungkin apa? Right, so you can see this is our prawns, all clean, nicely clean. Can you see the side here? And then cut the tip off. So that's our tamarind. We've got our onion here, diced onion, and you can see we've got our spring onions here. This is our lemongrass. We use citronel. Lemongrass, we need citronel. That's the citronel. We use we use Our and I'm gonna be frying these. This is to ensure we want to give it a nice color, make it crispy as well. This is then you start to make this. Okay, you fry it in Right, so we don't want to overcook it. Right guys, so you can see that's decent for us. So I'm gonna take it out now. I'll just take it out, put it in a plate. Right, so I'm gonna be adding the onion. You can see that all this is all flavorsome now. Right, and I will show you step by step. Stay tuned. Huh? This is a very nice salsa sauce as well, and you should give it a try. Eat it with your jello fries. Right, so I'm gonna be adding one tablespoon of garlic to this. And that's some black pepper. We pour about a little. And lemongrass, guys, I'm going to be adding it as well. This is the citronelle, muy citronelle, lemongrass. Mom, they I'm supermarket, so I'm gonna like it. Then dock or dock you say we need it. Then put your chop, chop it into these little spice. This is to just give it that lemon flavor. Flavor. Yeah. So I'm going to be adding it there. You see it? Add it early so that it's gonna be well cooked. That's my scotch bonnet pepper, guys, as well. So I'm gonna be adding it. I'll be adding some tamarind to this to give it a good tang because we normally make some tamarind mix. This is optional though. If you don't like tangy, um, a tangy flavor, do not put the tamarind. You can only add the lemongrass. 
bokeh hamnya ni mana mana topa ka, kon naga dadi je sedahar ni rek, ah, ni dadi ko boleh nak fikir kasi bawal eh, fikir kasi koli, ni yang kita nak punya muzi mo, lang si bir bar kami kitchen. Right, so you can see that our broth is getting there. Look at how the oil is rendering nicely. Okay, you see it? Ah, so you feel like a little So I'm just gonna take some of this broth and add it to the prawns. I'll add some of this broth here. So this should make sure once everything is well cooked and all the flavors of the knockoff have infused nicely, I just need a few. Spoonfuls and that's good to go. Okay, this again. The hard we not need. I did not touch it. We did not touch it. So I'm going to put it in here. Okay. So you make it into this nice sauce. And this is put it. Uh, we put this on the side and eat it with the rice as well. So just add it there. Give it a good toss. That's the last thing you want to add there. Leave it to leave its flavor. Yes, yes. This is the green part of the spring onion. It's so flavorsome and for color purpose, they give it this beautiful color before it's done. Okay, you did not some onion vert. Def kasi nirek. Lam. Go for touch. Sausi jaga po ni mut. Dadi jel lek nyeh ni def kasi ni gisngan ni mo bahe ni ngafe. Lam. So we don't want to overcook it, we just want to make sure it's just nicely cooked. And then we're going to put, um, switch it off now and leave it on the side. This is, so I'm gonna, just to keep everyone happy in the house, some people like spice, some don't like spice, so I just put my scotch bonnet pepper in, just to make sure that everyone is happy here. <laughs> At this point, all the lamb, um, lamb shanks are cooked. I'm going to be removing them to garnish it on top. Wow, okay, it's getting like that will be your film. I'm going to get a ball. Just take a bit of the juice and add it on top. This is in order when you're garnishing it, you'll have some juice there because I don't like too much dry food. And I'm adding my carrot, moisten carrotis. That malo buse ola mota my dead tailor def carrot. Why muno na def chepi be pere soko fa def. But this rice is easily cooked. It's normally cooked by steam, so it's very, very, you need to be very, very careful with the water. So I'm using the broken basmati rice, which is very um, small. If you're using the normal basmati, you can just give, a, give it a good broth and make sure that it boils with the broth. But this one here, we're just going to make sure that we cook it with a nice, good technique in order to make sure it's well cooked and at the same time, it's not overly cooked. Yes, again. Yen nak ham yen lisi chef pusau, ah, mom mom nak cuci lebih mau konyol. Kon nak fi, so dah lese fili nak balanga di parek mahala dah mahala wanya semua diu bituti. Lightly, with no air. So what I do is I normally take my, I normally take my mortar and pestle, and just put it on top to ensure it traps all the heat and cooks beautiful, nicely. Yeah. Oh la la, oh la la. So ah, definitely soon all but in one. So this is the first turn, guys. And once we turn our rice, you can see how quick this rice cooks. So I don't think I need to leave it to cook more. I'm just gonna turn it now and start dishing it up. Okay, soon chef para na naksa all but si chef bala. Chin sunare ni subahed fayeng. Alright guys, everything is done, done, done. So that's our chebu yapa. 
decoration with. So I'll be adding these um, decor um, carrot sharpness to my um, Amazon affiliate. If you're interested, just comment below and I will give you the link to that. Actually, you know, I'm going to make a sauce with a sauce with a sauce a sauce with a sauce with a sauce with a So that's the um, shrimp salsa on the side and I've actually made this um, lamb shanks on top of it for decoration purpose. So it's up to you. You can cook it with lamb of your choice as well. I've got my lemon here because you cannot forget tang in a Senegambian home. Lila the Legacy wants a very firm kitchen every Saturday. Do not miss out. Let's say Absolutely beautiful. Buddy would do nehna malo binyorna we chep it this time around we change we use um the broken rice basmati rice we chep it so we at why mom it won in the family if you want to go ahead next one and try it comment in the comment section and tell me what you think thanks for watching subscribe like and share 